You know all about me. You know what I teach and the way I learn. You know my goal in life. You know my faith, my patience, and my love. You know that I never stop trying. how Christian people must behave. I can learn a lot from Paul's letters to Timothy. Today I will preach from chapter 3. I will talk about how Christian people must prepare to serve God. started when Jesus went back to heaven. The last days will finish when Jesus comes back from heaven. The last days are also called the Gospel Age or the Gospel Time. Through the last days, some bad things will happen. <coughs> Sometimes, bad things will continue for a long time. When bad things continue for a long time, this is called a terrible time. Terrible time will finish when Jesus comes again. We think the last terrible time will be the worst. The devil will become strong, and many people will reject God and hate him. Maybe we're living in the last terrible time now. Thank you. 
against their friends. They will do, do foolish things without thinking and will be so proud of themselves. Instead of loving God, they will love pleasure. They will go on pretending to be devoted to God, but they will refuse to let that devotion change the way they live. Stay away from these people. Some of them go into homes and get control of the weak women whose lives are full of sin. Women who are led into sin by all the things they want. These women always want to learn something new, but they're never able to fully understand the truth. These verses tell me what will happen in the terrible times. started to reject marriage. Now many people say, quote, anyone can have sex. You don't have to be married, end quote. Many people think this is fine. Do these people have real love? No. Many people now think only about sex with you. Also, many people now say, quote, abortion is fine. Maybe a woman has become pregnant, but she wants to throw out the baby. That's fine, it's her choice, her right, end quote. This is terrible. I can see that many women have no real love for the baby inside them.
want to encourage people to sin more and more. They quickly make new ways to encourage sin. They do not think what they're doing. False religion. These verses talk about people who, quote, go on pretending pretending to be devoted to God, but they will refuse to let their devotion change the way they live in the place. These are people who follow false religion. They say they follow God, but they do not accept the gospel, and they do not want to change, and they don't want their life to change. Churches where they have loud music and loud drums, many people shouting and dancing. Those people do not worship God, they just want to enjoy the music. Many terrible things will happen in the terrible times. challenged Moses. The 
false teachers we see now have the same attitude as the Egyptians of the challenge Moses. The Egyptians failed. The false teachers I see today will fail also. This reminds me, every terrible time will finish. The terrible times will not continue forever. This time, but you know all about me. You know what I teach and the way I live. You know my goal and my life. In my faith, my patience, and my love. You know that I never stop trying and hurt. In this verse, we will talk to me how to prepare to serve God. <coughs> That's all. When all the apostles died, that special job finished. Timothy was a long pastor, same as pastors today. But Paul gave Timothy some of his work. He told Timothy to care for the churches. He knew the Roman Emperor, in brackets, the king, called Nero, wanted to kill him. So he gave parts of his work to Timothy. He prepared Timothy to become responsible for the churches. Thank you. 
about God's plan to save people, about Christian life, about how to manage the church. Timothy learned everything on board. <coughs> Question, do I learn the doctrines? Do I want to learn God's plans and God's commands? book called, quote, The Body of Divinity, written by Muslims. Thomas Watson. Thomas Watson lived 400 years ago. Why should I read that old book? Thank you. 
all the doctrines, all God's teachings from the Bible. We showed which verses to read. This made it easy for people to learn from the Bible. Verses, then read the verses and research more from the Bible. But in the 20th century, things change. Christian people stop studying doctrine. I'll give you an example. on life stories from the Bible. They were very good and very helpful, but there was not much doctrine. This is a problem. And now, many people forget doctrine. They want to tell stories, talk about people's lives, is good, but there's no doctrine. People do not know about God's plans. Do you learn about the doctrines? Do you learn God's plans? Do you want to study the Bible? You must. You must rely on doctrine a strong Christian life. Okay, group number one, group two, life. Recently, more people have started to learn doctrine. like a soldier who had to serve his king, the Lord God. Paul knew he had to serve well, so he trained himself to live in the best way. How did Paul live? He had a simple life. He did not own many things. He did not fill his life with many entertainments and comfortable things. <coughs> he did not have many pleasures. All knew he must serve God first. So does this mean Paul was sad and boring? No. 
in the Bible, he talks about what he enjoyed. We like to talk with Christian people who share fellowship. He had great joy in his life. And he did not focus on pleasure and entertainment. He focused on God. In this verse, we might plan. <coughs> this is a challenge for me. Do I have a plan for my life? Do I plan what I do? We've got this here. to witness to people. I should think about who I can talk to, my friends or at work. I should think about how I can be involved in God's work more. Number two, marriage. I should have a plan for marriage. Who will I marry? I do not know the person yet, maybe, but I should plan how I should live when I'm married. <laughs> I want to have a good home, focused on God. I want to serve God with my wife or husband. I want my family to focus on God. <laughs> Christians. Number 
God of doctrine and two Christian life and number three the plan. Do I have these three things? If I have them, I will have a strong Christian life. If not, I must make sure I have all three. Then I will be prepared to serve God well and live well. I'll be able to stay strong in terrible times. And I will feel happy when I think about the last day when Jesus comes again. May the Lord help us all to have a strong Christian life and to learn from false teachings of Timothy.